Hey everybody, it's Dr. Zaza. Here we go again, trying to upgrade a brand new Dell 2-in-1 laptop. You'll see the exact model number in the description. So what we're going to try and do is upgrade this with 4 gigs of RAM. Got it from Crucial. Very reasonably priced upgrade that will give you the most bang for your buck. So first thing we're going to do is take out all the screws on the back. Okay, we've got all the screws out, so now what you should be able to do is just pry this back plate up. You can get, you know, the little prying tools and stuff like that, but usually you just get a fingernail under there. There we go. Nothing to it. Aha, here we go. So this is what we wanted to see. If you saw my last video, you know that I had a problem because once we got into the computer, there was only one slot for a RAM upgrade. This one has got kind of what we were expecting two RAM slots that's what we wanted to see all right so let's just pop this baby open and there's slot one it's already got the one that came with the computer four gigs now we're gonna upgrade it to eight gigs there's really not much to it you can see there's a little diagram there on the door that kinda tells you all right Pry the thing up, stick it in there. The only thing you want to just make certain is that you got this connector inserted all the way in there. And you can see it's got a little it's got a little separator there, so you can't really do it wrong. Alright, so I'm gonna press that in there nice and tight. You can hear that it's seated. Click it down. That's all she wrote. Alright, we're gonna put it back together and see. How it works. Okay, we're just gonna line this back up and press it back into place here. Make sure it's all lined up there. Start with the back. These can be a little tricky to make sure you've got them exactly right, but then you'll notice I'll just start popping right back into place. We hope. There we go. Alright, I think I've got it all pretty much back into place there. Alright, let's put the screws back in. Okay, that's kind of what we wanted to see here. The amount of system memory has changed. Great. Continue. Alright, that should be all there is to it. Thanks for watching.